STEM outreach is extremely important because it's making an investment in tomorrow's workforce. We hire a lot of engineers in the civilian workforce here at Robbins Air Force Base and throughout the state of Georgia throughout the nation. Starbase is a Department of Defense STEM education program uh, that's been here at Robbins uh, for about 21 years now and what we're trying to do is to get students excited and interested in the STEM field. We do that through hands-on uh, minds on experiments with the students and our students come from uh, surrounding school districts. There are 60 sites across the country and we're all associated with military bases. Our mission for uh, Starbase Robbins is making them more so uh, innovators rather than just consumers of uh, technology. Starbase Robbins actually have three different components. We have the fifth grade component which focuses on our fifth graders. Uh, we get students from the surrounding school districts that actually come here to the Museum of Aviation where we're located. We have the Starbase 2.0 program which is an after school program that's located at the schools and those are middle schoolers. And then we also have our summer programs and those summer programs can be anything from robotics uh, to agriculture STEM. Children get an opportunity to come to Starbase Robbins and they get an opportunity to do hands-on experiments like they've never done before. Um, today our students are working on mapping activities and working with Bernoulli's principle and how air flows and liquids flow. I think Starbase increases our students' excitement and engagement because it helps students create connections between their learning um, in the classroom and out of the classroom. Starbase has also helped our students uh, make more connections to what they already know about science and math, but are bringing in the technology and engineering piece as well. It's super fun in that we learn a bunch of stuff that we didn't know before. As a small school district where there's only three schools in our district, one elementary, one middle, one high school, give us the opportunity to have resources that we normally wouldn't have provided through Starbase. I think that the communication aspect where the students communicate with each other is important because it's really a life skill that they'll need beyond fifth grade and elementary school and to see them becoming more respectful of each other and listening and sharing ideas is really exciting. Starbase 2.0 comes out to our school every Thursday um, the first semester and second semester for 10 to 12 weeks. They bring mentors out to work with the children. I'm a hands-on learner and just like applying it, seeing it work. It's really awesome knowing that, hey, I did that. It gave me a chance to kind of see what I was, what I was good at and I've actually gotten a lot better at math. We want you to look at the situations in the world that need innovative solutions. We want you to understand how to research, how to present that research, how to go in front of people you've never seen before, two or three, and present what you've learned, um, be able to answer questions about it, and do it as a team. And we usually we sit down and we talk about what we're going to do before we do it and get everybody's ideas and figure out different ways that we could do it. We also have found that even in our after school program, some of those soft skills that employers are looking for, like critical thinking, working in it as a team, all of those things we employ with uh, our approach here at Starbase Robbins in teaching STEM. Starbase has been around for about 20 years. We already have statistics that show students that have come through the Starbase program have interest in science and math aptitude. They're shown encouragement in science and math education and careers because of their exposure to science and math because of their exposure to Starbase in those, those formative years. If we get those students to get excited about STEM, uh, go on to major in STEM fields and come back to the area, uh, I think that will not only just impact the Department of Defense, but also impact Middle Georgia area as well. In many ways, a lot of the jobs that, that are coming to the state of Georgia have to do with technology, uh, are centered around STEM-related activities and STEM-related interests, and having the access to a workforce at such a young age allowing students to, to learn at deeper levels and, and have a variety of learning models that are presented here at the Starbase curriculum. It's, it's just an opportunity to not only grow students, but grow adults as well. I think it, the long-term impact that it has on our students is one of success. I think it 
Again, it gives them hope. I think it will show them a desired future. So it's a lasting impact on them making career choices. We've had previous Starbase students to let us know that this made an impact on their life. Um, they've written letters in and, and talked to us about how it made them choose career paths that they had never thought about before. I, I really like the program. 